Hey guys, it's Molly. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, I wanted to do a circular Dutch pour. I had a private lesson with a lovely lady and she brought a circular canvas and that's what we ended up doing and I realized I've never done one of those. I always use my circular canvases for my colander pours. So I thought, why not? Let's try it out. Okay, you guys, I was just getting the white base on the canvas, trying to save a little bit of time for you. You know, all of our time is valuable, right? Um, okay, so I am using just water and paint. I had done my rainbow pour and I really liked the combination of the blue, the fluorescent pink and the yellow, but I just wanted to add a couple metallics. I also wanted to try, um, so I normally puddle everything in the middle um, because of course I learned from Brinska, the Dutch pour queen, and that's how she was doing it, but I really wanted to try starting with the puddle in the middle, but then circling the colors around it. Because when I blow over normally, um, the paint, I end up with a puddle in the middle. So maybe if I spread the paint out originally, maybe the puddle won't be so big. I, I don't know, I don't know. So let me think, what color do I want to be kind of my center focal point? Hmm, let's go with the pink. I mean, why not? right so now instead what i'm going to do i'm going to try to do this slowly it's kind of like that and then i'm just going to work my way out maybe overlapping just a little bit this is burgundy by windsor and newton which actually looks like red purple vi or red violet um i think i'll go with my yellow next so i'm just trying to be a little bit careful then I'll go, I'm gonna do my copper kind of all around in the center, kind of like a spiral. Okay, and then I'm gonna end, I think, with a little bit more pink. Let me take my stick out. I don't know, will this create anything different? I have no idea. I saw Canella had done one, but left the center and blew out, but I wanted to try this way, I'd been thinking about this for a while. Cause I always get that gigantic puddle. Okay, but I think that's enough. That's enough paint, enough paint. So now I'm gonna pour the rest of the white around it. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> Let me pop my air bubbles first. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, I got beautiful cell reactions. I got, it looks like streaks of color from doing it that way. I don't know, maybe it was just the way that I blew the paint. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna blow it out. Oh my gosh, I love these colors together. And I don't have the big puddle in the middle like I normally do. Guys, this almost looks like a bird or a butterfly or something. I don't know, I, I don't know about all this. Oh, you guys are gonna kill me. I don't know about all this, this negative space right down here. All right, let me fiddle for a second. It's been two years and I don't know how to use my blow dryer. <laughs> I love this painting. 
interesting. I'm sorry, I get really excited when things work the way that they're supposed to. Okay, I don't know if this was because I did it circular like that, but it almost looks like it's flames coming out of it this way. This one little part is gonna bother, I'm gonna blow this one little part off. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. Stunning. All right, I'm gonna take you down and show you. Okay, so I don't know if this part right here came from the circular rings that I did, but it just looks almost like it's, like it's, um, oh my gosh, what's the, what am I looking for? Like it's exploding out, like the colors are fanning out. I don't know if that's because of the way that I layered them or not, but my goodness, I love this. That is my favorite part. That is Azo Yellow Deep Fluorescent Pink and Windsor Blue. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely doing this color scheme again. I'm going to go big with this color scheme. I really, really like it. All right, you guys let me know what you think and I will show you the dried result. I'll see you in a bit. All right, I'm back out in my garage for my good lighting so that you can really see how amazing this, it really is, it's one of my favorite pieces. Look at that yellow. And I really do think it's the the way that I kind of made those colors into, I can't talk, made those colors into rings. Oh, that is my still my favorite part there, those little pops of pink. But yeah, I you can see the the metallic right there too. I love this piece. Absolutely stunning. All right, you guys let me know what you think. I already know what I think. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye.